for each and every one of you that did not just see what I just went through right here, Zero One Promotions, Mattoon, Illinois, Silcon. I went one-on-one -on -one with one of my greatest rivals, my greatest rival, and his name was Harker Dirge. Now you see, Harker and I, we have a long, long story history. We've told you in the past, it's teacher versus student. Well, you know what, at this point, there's not room for teacher and student. Tonight, Zero One at Silcon, Parker Dirge drops me on my head. And the next verse was the same as the first. And every single one in between. You see who's standing tall, Parker Dirge, his hand held high, Jason V, face on the mat, done, pinned, defeated, broken. And that's when I looked up, and I looked and I said, I know I can't do this. I can't do it. Why do I keep trying? And I locked eyes with somebody who I hadn't seen in quite some time. I locked eyes with a man that I know can be the final nail in Harker Durge's coffin. So I cashed in a favor. So right now I'm going to bring you that man. You haven't seen him in quite some time, but let me introduce you to, once again, Dickie Wabash. You know, I stepped away from wrestling, thought I accomplished all that I needed to do, but there was, there was just this one thing in the back of my mind that, Dickie, there's something that you didn't do. And it was, it was Harker Dirge. Throughout my entire career, Harker Dirge has been a thorn in my side. I'm back, Harker. Let me tell you the history of Dickie Wabash and Jason V. We have destroyed companies. We have been kicked out of so many places because we're that dangerous. We tell the truth, and right now, Harker, the truth, it will hurt because it's done, it's time. The moment has come in Mattoon, in Illinois. Mattoon, Zero One Promotions, October 22nd, the challenge has been laid out. Parker Dirge, Jason V, one more time, the last time, because all of the cards are on the table. Everything is on the line. I challenge you to something even you will be afraid of. Do something that you know you can't do, and you put your career on the line. You and me, retirement match. Not loser leaves town, not loser leaves zero one promotions, loser leaves professional wrestling. And if you got it, get some on October 22nd. Jason V recently put out a challenge against Harker Dirge following the last match we had in Mattoon, Illinois. And in that challenge, he talked about the history between he and I, about the blood feuds, the grudges, the blood that was spilled, the history that we have. But the one thing he left out was the fact that after that was all said and done, the dust had settled and the smoke had cleared. Jason V and I found a mutual respect for one another. We became tag team partners. We watched each other's back. I had his back, and I felt like he had mine. But the whole time, I'm starting to question myself. When I look back on it, I'm starting to wonder, was there a jealousy? Was there an underlying anger and hatred? Was I a fool to trust the man in the first place? Because we signed a series of matches that were supposed to be good competitive wrestling matches between two good competitors in the middle of the ring for Zero One USA. But that last time we met, he pulled out all the stops to try to beat me. It wasn't a spirit of competition, it was a spirit of hatred. Hatred that runs through his veins. And I sensed it in the middle of that ring. But still, I dropped him on his head, just like he tells the story, I dropped him on his head and I beat him clean in the middle of the ring. But then, I guess I made the mistake of trusting that the match was over when the bell had rung. I turned my back on Jason V. 
a rare mistake on the part of Harker Dirge. I turned my back on that man, and what did he do? He repaid me with scorn. He got me from behind. He beat me down. He left me laying a fool for trusting him. Then he made a challenge for October 22. And I've had my phone blowing up. I've had text messages where people want to know, what's your response to Jason B? My response is this. When I saw that you're putting the band back together with Dickie Wabash, that you're bringing in a man that's been a thorn in my side for so long, and fashioning yourselves the architect of my demise, it made me absolutely sick to my stomach. You put that boy band back together, Jason B., Dicky Wallbass, but you understand this, and I know you know, I'm not some new kid on the block. I'm the whole damn block. And when you make a vicious challenge toward me, and you ask me to put it all on the line, you're backing me into a corner, and you're asking me to go someplace that I haven't gone for a very long time. Nobody remembers the dark side of Harker Dirge better than you. And nobody wants to see that again, including me. So what I want you to do, Jason, I want you to go somewhere by yourself and think, think long about the words and the challenges you have made. We will see each other on October 22, but you don't want to lay your career on the line against Harker Dirge. So you think about it, and you come back to me. But one way or the other, I'll see you on October 22.